Hi. Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we'll be looking at ratios. So the aim of today's lesson is to introduce you to ratios. My learning objective is to understand and write ratios. Now, ratios just show the relationship between different amounts. In other words, you can say is also to compare the quantity of a thing or the number of one thing compared to the number of another. There are three success criteria to help you to understand and write ratios. The first is to say what it is, what ratio is. And the second, that you can also understand the basics of ratios. And the third, that you can even write out ratios. So how do we go about solving this problem or writing the ratios? There are things I want you to take note of. First, the things or objects to be compared. In this case, they are strawberries first, then oranges. Second, you write the numbers of the objects as they appear in the question. The strawberries will come first, in this case six, then the oranges three. You can write it as a word, six to three. There are other ways you can write it. You can write it as six to three, as in colon here, or as a fraction, six over three. Now the last thing to do is to simplify if possible. Yes, in this case, I can see there is a common factor three. So I divide the top number by three and then the bottom number by three. So if I come to my working, my simplified version is here. And I can write it in three different forms as well. 2 to 1, 2 is to 1, or 2 over 1. These are the three ways you can write ratios. Let's look at this second one. How to write the ratios of, of football, basketball to football. Now, the things to be compared, basketball first and then football. Then the number of the, if you count the basketballs, they are five, then the footballs. And the three different ways we can write uh, ratios, we can write it as the number here, or we can say five is to, th is to eight, colon eight, or as a fraction, five over eight. Now there is no common factor between five and eight, so this cannot be simplified. So I'll leave it as it is. What I now want you to do is to pause the video and do this question. We'll look at it in the next slide. How did you do? Now the question was, in a school survey, it was noticed that 20% of children walk to school and 80% by other means. Write this as a ratio. Now, if we follow our steps, the things to be compared are children walking to school and then other means. And from the question, the walk to school was first, so I write that number first. 20% walk to school to 80% by other means. Now, I can also write it in my three different ways here and I can simplify. Now from here, I know that if I send, there are four lots of 20 and 80. So I can write it as a quarter, which is here. So I can actually rewrite my simplified version as uh, one to four, one colon four or is four or a quarter. How did you do? 
Now, if you feel confident, then you do the work. There are two different uh, tasks to do. Start with this one. Now, S1 will be for the medium as usual, and S2, the medium, S3, the hot. Now, if you feel confident after that, you can challenge yourself and do the second one. Now select something that you know you did really well at and then show it to a guardian or if they are busy, you show it to a sibling and show them the steps you use to get to the answer. Now just as a reflection, do you know what ratios are? Can you say it? Do you understand the basics of ratios? And can you even write out ratios in different forms? Now, if you can do all these, well done. You now understand and can write ratios.